name of the Father, Son, and God. God. I mean, the gospel today is from St. John Gospel. Listen carefully to what God is sending us today. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you, you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will be no means cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me that of all he has given me i should not i should lose nothing but should raise up raise it up at the last day and this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who sees the son and believes in him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up at the last day glory be to god forever and ever amen after Easter, we have 50 days. And it's divided into two divisions. The first 40 days, as the Bible mentioned, that Christ used to appear to the disciples and the apostles, strengthening them, teaching them, confirming them of what he told them. In the book of Acts, chapter 1, he said, and for 40 days, Christ was appearing to his disciples with many evidence. And on the 40th day, he ascended into heaven as the promise. And he told them to wait till you receive the promise of the Father. And he mentioned this to them in John chapter 16, when he said, Later you will see me, sorry, you will not see me, but later you will see me after. When the Father will give the promise. What is the promise? That the Holy Spirit, one of the Trinity, will be in the church, will be in the believers. Will no longer will be outside talking and instructing, but will have a rest in the temple of the church, us, we are the temple of the body of Christ. And for the Holy Spirit to come and remain and rest, that goes the whole story of salvation and redemption. God and men have means and goals since the beginning. When God made each of us, my dear brothers and sisters, and my fathers and my sisters, He gave us the meaning of this life. It's like when you want to create something, and you have a goal at the end. Let me say something simple, and I hope you got it today. When we ordered this pulpit to be done in Egypt, this wooden pulpit, the goal was... And the order was, we have a pulpit. But for the workshop, to have means to do this pulpit, it was different tools. He used the saw, he used the machine for cutting. He used many things which are different than the goal. So the goal is the pulpit, but the means are what? Are different. But it will never be like this with God. When we come to God, the goal and the means are the same. When I want to cl come closer to God, when I want to be with God, I want to be good. There is no goodness out of the goodness of Christ. I want to be enlightened. There is no enlightenment without the light of Christ. I want to be satisfied, not a hungry and thirsty, and thirsty person looking for Sorry to say, garbage outside to fill my soul. If you want to do this, there is only, if this is your goal, you have one mean, Christ Him. 
self. And that's why in the literature we say, he came and took flesh and taught us the ways of what? Salvations. He is the way and he is the, the goal. So when you want to pray, for example, can you pray without Jesus? Yes. Is it acceptable? Definitely not. And that's why some of us are, you know, I prayed and God did not listen. Have you gone through Jesus? I didn't mean that you speak before the icon of Jesus. But are you, will, are you really in the will of the Son of God who accepted the will of the Father? Or I'm, a, I'm just a guest in his church. Many of the church members, which I feel very sad for, they said, you know, I don't like God. You know why? Because God, I prayed and he didn't answer. Can I ask you a question? Are you in the will of God in the first place or you are out? Or you want the goal without the means? You want to see the tree of life without having the bread of life? You want to be a cheerful person without going the, the joy of the Lord? You want to praise God without the spirit of the Lord? You want to serve without God? I hope you got the idea today. We will keep wonder, and I'm afraid that as the Bible said in the book of, book of Exodus, that two million went out from Egypt. Two million. And the Bible said, he appeared to all of them, and he gave all of them the manna, and he gave all of them the water, and he gave all of them the protection by the cloud, and he gave all of them the redemption by the blood of the Passover. And all of them followed him. And all of them drank the water from the rock. But two of them managed to enter the kingdom of God. Two. Why? Because these two only use the right means to reach the right what? Goals. Two only. I pray that all of us today think wisely without any distractions. And I'm very sorry to tell you that we are a very distractive generation. Very. We take any means just to be distracted. And I'm afraid that the devil is using all this that we will, cope, will keep wandering in the same circles for years. No changes. Christ appeared to them in this fourth year, telling them, the goal is me, and the means is also what? Me. If you want to serve, you're going to serve through me. If you want to be accepted before the Father, through me. If you want forgiveness, it's through me. If you want encouragement, it's through me, and through my ways, not your own ways. I remember very well the first people who want to come closer to God in the Bible, Abel and Cain. Abel follow what his father Adam did. Adam saw God slaughter and covered him with the garment and tell him, I'm protecting you. So Abel used to come to God with the sacrifice of the animal. But Cain is like me and you. Let me do another thing. It, look, it will look better. I will farm, I will, I will do something. God will accept this? No. No, don't come to God with your own way. Come to God with His ways. Don't be a stubborn person and say, you know, I don't like it. The gospel is too difficult. It's too difficult for those who want to go in the same way. It will remain impossible, by the way. Because without Him, we can do what? Nothing. So such an encouraging way he told them, those who will come to me, I will never lose. Wow. Those who come to me, to the Father, I will never lose. But they will have everlasting what? Life. None. None will be lost if you come to the right what? Way. I know that we have this tendency of using what, huh? Side doors, right? Shortcuts, right? We love this, especially as our 
culture. يعني if I can skip this and go this, if I can do this, you know, instead of this, if I can park, you know, let me park outside the curb, not out. We love we 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 professionals. Professionals, and partake communion without confession. It's okay. Do you think it's okay? Really, it's okay. Do you believe this? If you believe this, I'm in deception. If I believe that partaking communion only will save me without holy life, doctrine, fellowship, and prayer, I'm, I'm against the Bible. This is what he said. Can I change it? Can you change it? Come with your own way. Come with your own means. I think you, I, I will miss them. The big goal. And that's why in this 40 days, I want all of us, please, I hope all of us, we think deeply, am I going to God with my, my own means or his means? I hear a lot of stories. I know, you know, Father, nothing will change. You know why you are saying this? Because you don't want to change. Simply as this. You don't want to change. And some people say, you know, let him change and I will change. You will, nothing will happen, by the way. This is not the means of God. The means of God that both of you goes to, go to him. And that's why even when Judas returned the silver and went to the priest and said, I have sinned. At the end, he hung himself. You know why? Because the means was to go back to whom? To Christ. He didn't do it. And Peter cried and came and said, Do you love me? Say, I love you, Lord. You know everything. Come, tend my sheep and lead my flock. What an amazing God we have. I want you, my dear brother, please make it easy for you. Don't make it harder. Please. God is not complicated. God is so simple. And his means are very clear. Look at this verse we read today in St. John Epistle. Amazing verse. Look at this. He who believes in the Son of God, the, wit the witness in himself. Look at this. The witness where? In himself. He who does not believe in God, he made himself a liar because... He has not believed in the testimony that God has given of his son. Wow. The testimony is where you're still asleep. I'll read again. The witness is in himself. Where the testimony of God is where? In you. It's in you. It is clearly in you. Have you heard it? Yes. Have you obeyed it? No. It is against you. It's against me and you. And in the last day, God will say, you know, my son, I'm not worried about what you have done. I'm worried about how many times I came to you with my own means and you choose your own what? Me. I hope the message is clear today. Think about why you are far from God. Maybe are using the wrong what means. Come to Him only. If you want to put this in practical point, please, 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 today go back to your room and lock, not lock your phone. I hope you lock your phone and your PC and your laptop and your games, and your small toys. Put all this aside and kneel down and say, I want to come to you by you. Can you help me, please? And has, as he helped those who are broken, and who denied him, and those who have heart, hard hardened, surely he will help us to the same goal, Christ, the goal and the mean is in him. Glory be to God forever and ever. I mean, go in peace. Peace be with you all.